As you develop a worksheet, you will find a need to adjust the row height of certain rows in that worksheet. By default, a row height is set to 12.75 points, with one point equaling approximately 1 72nd of an inch. You can set a row up to 409 points in height. If you set a row to a zero value, it will be hidden. To set a row to a new height, there are three techniques. First, though, you need to select the row or rows that you want to adjust. I'll go ahead and select this column header row. You can precisely set a row by using the ribbon and the Home tab, and here in the Cells group you have a Format option. Select the Format option to expand down the menu, and notice that one of your choices here is Row Height. When you select Row Height, by single clicking it, you will access a dialog box. Go ahead and type the new row height. I will type in 22 points and then click OK and notice that my row now adjusts to a height of 22 points. You can also create an auto fit of any row which will allow it to automatically fit to the size of the data that is in that row. Notice that you saw this over in the Format option of the Cells group of the Home tab in the ribbon. And if I select that, I have an Auto Fit Row Height. I'll go ahead and choose that command, and immediately my row will adjust to the tallest data within that row. I can also manually adjust a row height by positioning my mouse on the borderline between two rows. Notice that when I do this, I get a double arrow tool. And with that double arrow tool, I can click and drag down to increase the row height or drag up to decrease the row height. Also note that you have a little tool tip just off to the right here that tells you exactly what the point size is as well as what that point size is in pixels. To manually create an auto fit, again, if you position your mouse on a borderline between rows so you get the double arrow tool and then double click with your mouse, you will automatically fit that row to the tallest content within that row. For your row height. If you want to adjust multiple rows or all the rows in a worksheet, select either multiple rows to be adjusted or the entire worksheet, and then using any of the techniques I have just demonstrated, adjust that row height. So here, if I wanted to increase the row height for all of my products, I'll go ahead and select all of those rows by clicking and dragging down on the row headers over here to select all the rows. And then I can come up here to my Format option, select it, choose Row Height, and then type in maybe 16 points and say OK. And all the row heights that I have selected will adjust to that new row height Point size. Now let's go ahead and apply adjusting row heights to our product list. So again, go to your product list and to the menu worksheet, or if you need to, you can open up the start file for this movie. If you do a file open, you will find within your Excel 2007 class file directory, chapter 05 directory, a 0506 start file. Go ahead and open that up and you will see your product list up to the development point of this movie. Now let's go ahead and adjust the row height for our column headers here of product, calories, and price. Again, go ahead and select that row and come up here to your ribbon in the Home tab in the Cells group, select Format, choose Row Height, and let's set the row height to 20 points. So type in 20 and say OK, and we've adjusted that a little bit taller. Now let's go ahead and increase the spacing between all of our products. So again, we need to select all of those products. So we'll click on the row header of three, drag all the way down to the bottom of the product list, select that so that all of your rows are now selected, and then choose Format from your cells group in your home tab of the ribbon and again choose row height and let's set this to 18 points and say OK. Now we have a little bit more spacing in between our rows. If you make any mistakes, remember you have your undo, your redo, and your repeat button that you can use to help correct any mistakes that you might make. 
Go ahead and save this file and we will move on to the next movie.